Mario does not exactly have a great track record when it comes to his movies. And if you're to listen to the critics, you'd think that his bad streak continues. I'm just gonna say it, I loved watching the Mario movie. The animation is vibrant and brings life to the characters. The voice acting, while a departure from the original, is masterfully delivered by Jack Black as Bowser, and most other characters have good deliveries. It was slightly jarring at first hearing different voices for DK, Luigi, and Mario, but you get used to it pretty fast. The best part of the movie is going to be the animation. All of the characters are expressive and the world really feels lived in. The combat is able to gel well most of the time, as well with everything in the background moving fluidly. The references in this film were filled to the brim. Some were kind of subtle references to other Nintendo properties like Star Fox, Kid Icarus, Game & Watch, Smash Bros, Punch-Out, and so many more, while also having big aspects of spin-off games such as Mario Kart play an integral role in the story of the film. Every single scene of the film has a nod to something Nintendo has done, and a lot of it is pulled off extremely well. The chemistry of the cast all gels along incredibly well. Bowser interacts amazingly with whoever he shares a scene with, whether it's a minion or one of our heroes. Mario and Luigi has a great fleshed out backstory that we have never seen in the games. We also get Peach to be faithful to the Mushroom Kingdom and act as a faithful and good leader. If there's one character I think that could have benefited from more screen time, it would probably be Donkey Kong. He's kind of treated like a main character, but his amount of lines and backstory is really insignificant compared to the others. Hopefully, they can get a spin-off or something in the works for him in the Kong Kingdom. The story is very fast-paced, which I actually think is to the film's advantage. The story has a great switch up with Mario and Peach being the ones to stop Bowser and save the Mushroom Kingdom along with rescuing Luigi. This change works well and Peach fits in well as a mentor for Mario to get used to the world. I've seen some critics say that there is no story at all with this film. While this certainly isn't 2001 A Space Odyssey, I think they've done a great job at sprinkling in Mario's origins and expanding upon what the games didn't show. There's a thousand ways thinking story beats created by studio could have gone wrong. Luckily, I think it went about as well as it could have. One area of the film that I thought was a little mixed was the music. I thought that the classic Mario tunes were an obvious great choice, but the use of all the 80s pop music was a little bit unwelcome for me. I get that they're trying to show that the film takes place in the 80s, but I think they overdo it. As for the humor of the film, I thought just a few jokes were overplayed a bit too much, but for the most part, everything seemed to land pretty well. If there's one movie I would compare the humor to, it would be the first Despicable Me movie. Now let's dive into the end credits. I love getting to see Bowser sing his Peach song again, it's great and comical. I love that in the second post credit scene, they're building up Yoshi. It was great to see a stampede of Yoshis, just like in Super Smash Bros. Melee. This scene really reminded me of the Tails scene from the first Sonic movie. I think they established some decent groundwork for a Nintendo cinematic universe here, but that's a ways off. For the second movie, I'd love to flesh out more of the Kong Kingdom and take a break from Bowser for the next movie and introduce Wario as a, another adversary of Mario from Brooklyn. Overall, the Super Mario Bros. movie gets an 8.5 out of 10 for me. It has a ton of charm that young and old fans of the series are sure to enjoy.